How's it going guys, Good afternoon here and welcome to the 87 rated pair of the year Ryan Sessegnon play review. 17 years of age has already got himself through informs in this FIFA and now he's landed himself the player of the year and that is just ridiculous. It's quite insane considering EFL championship is a very tough league to play in and the fact that he's only 17 does show on that he's a great player and he would be a great player in the future as well. And the great, the great thing about this card is obviously that's a left wing. His base card is a left back and he has him, he has got himself one in from there's also a left back. His team of the season would, will also be most likely a left back. So if you have the coins, do get your hands on this card. It's going for very cheap anyways. I'll discuss that later. But looking at this card, it's a quite phenomenal one. You know, for that many coins, 92 pace, 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 86 passing, 79 physical. That's quite fascinating. And then 76 defending. That's also quite good. And you know he's got himself one of the best work rates for a medium card, for offensive card, high medium. And I mean the only weaknesses that you see with this card is his skill moves and weak fit, only three stars. And if you look further into the card, there's not a lot to say. The card speaks for itself. Quite exceptional. 94 sprint speed with 89 acceleration, very explosive. Shooting, phenomenal. 90 positioning, 92 finishing, 92 shot father. Long shots are a bit off, but you do expect him to score. His passing is also quite good, 90 crossing, 95 short passing, and then 86 long passing. But the stats that blow your mind are the dribbling, 19 and agility with 19 and balance, and 97 composure is just insane. His reactions, you know, are also quite good. Dribbling is a bit low, but the thing to worry about here is his ball control. You know, 82 being quite low, in my opinion, should have been at least 87, 88, would have been a lot better. But we have to go with it. Aerial ability, quite decent. Heading aggressive is very poor, but he's got himself a great jumping and then he's got himself amazing stamina with 96 physicality on the whole is very great you know aggression is also quite decent for a guy that's that short and then he's also got himself great aggression with 73 but the car itself is quite exceptional you know starting off you know talking about his price it's a steal in my opinion for only around 50k coins for both playstation and xbox you're getting yourself one of the best cards that you can you know uh, potentially get for you know a, a, an offensive card that it's as good and as cheap I mean, I played around what six games with him. I scored nine goals and you know created one assist. But the thing with him is that he's a uh, you know he's a, he's a constant threat with the pace that he possesses, with the agility and balance and compo composure that he's got himself, and uh, also you know his shooting, his positioning, his finishing, and his shot power. You know all of those stats are just quite insane. And the, so therefore, the price that he's going for, I think, is very very cheap. Not even reasonable. It's extremely cheap. And uh, started to talk about his positives. You know, almost everything about this guy is positive. I mean, I think it's better to start off with his negatives because they're not, the, they're not, they're not a lot. They're quite, only few. And the the one that stood out for me the most were his strength, his weak foot, his ball control. Even his weak foot is not as poor. You know, it is three stars, so it is obviously a problem since it's not as usable. But I got at least like around five chances on his right, and for for me, he did finish. I think two or three of them. So that's quite decent. You know, it does work out in the box, but. His strength is low, you know, I would say, even though it's 71, quite good for a guy that's, you know, as thin and, you know, as uh, short in size, obviously, you know, but I still, it's uh, not good enough when it comes against, for example, Sergio Ramos or Van Dijk, you know, Bailey, because of those type. And then his ball control is the, is, is the problem that sort of with me the most, you know, his 82 80, ball control, I said, that, you know, when I was uh, at the start of the video that it would be a problem because in the box I had... So many chances with him and he couldn't control the ball, you know, and it was so frustrating because obviously it's just one touch and then shoot right away. But his one touch was really bad inside the box and obviously his ball control is very low on the paper when you see it. But looking at his positives, like I said, almost everything about this guy is positives. But the one that stood out for me, for the, the most for me was his pace, his stamina, his dribbling and his positioning. His pace, quite explosive, you know, very, very easy to run with both on and off the ball. Dribbling speaks for itself. Phenomenal 99 agility, 99 balance, 97 composure, a very composed player. And then Hoser's positioning is very good, you know, does create a lot of chances, you know, both on the ball and off the ball. And the cards I think are quite similar are obviously Lozano and Sane. Lozano, I think, is very, very similar. Lozano is a bit faster, but you know, when it comes to the feeling, when the, you know, when the, when it comes to their agility and balance, they are very, very similar and the, you know, all, almost the same shooting as well. But that was it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.